What's up, guys? Welcome back to Slide Through News. I'm your host, Will Poussant. We have so much on today's episode, so let's get right into it. First up, Pro Solved Freedom Fest event happening July 6th, so make sure to save the date, and it's coming up quick, so make sure to get your car ready. First up on who threw it and who blew it, we have Kiefer Bolin at Driven Luck Circuit. Let's take a look at how to throw it the proper way. <laughs> Another one that threw it super good was Luke Fink throwing a perfect backy to wall tap. Probably the best ever backy that I've seen. Usually when you throw a backy, you don't get up to that wall, but Luke Fink did. Also, make sure to follow driftworldfriends.us. They provide drifting clips all the time. Drift League happened over the weekend. We got Carson Ruger taking first place, Jackie MF Moon taking second, and Brightside Drift taking third place. Congratulations to you guys. And if you didn't hear the story of what happened, Brightside Drift had car problems the day before and also the day of, but he came through and still took third place. Congratulations to you guys. And I'm saying it now Ruger is going to get the FD license. I'm calling it right now, so if my predictions are correct, we'll see him get that pro spec license. Speaking of Drift League and who threw it and who blew it, we got Blotchworks Racing. Guys, come on now. It's you versus you, not you versus your opponent. On entries, you just got to throw it real quick and then gain your proximity. I know you guys know how to drive, but we've seen a lot of crappy driving this event. I'm sorry to say it, but we were in the live chat checking it out. And you guys were just blowing it. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Also, we have TJ Hunt blowing it as well. He was trying to throw 110%. Should only did 90%. He would have probably came out on top. He had one of the best qualification runs. And then, look, he didn't even place. So, it just goes to show you, it's you versus you. Just put down a good line, hit the zones, and you might come out on top. You guys asked for it, so we got it. Drift Appalachia 992 coming through, showing you guys all this back road compilations at Drift Appalachia. Great footage, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, this week's episode of Tools That Are Cool, we got Shelly Hansen and Rudy Hansen showing you their quick trick alignment tool for their FD events. When they're on a rush to get their car aligned, this is the tool that they use. Let's go ahead and check it out. Tools, tools, using every way. Tools are cool. Today, we are aligning Shelly's car for her first round of Formula Drift Pro-Am. With this, we have our quick trick alignment kit that we're gonna take with us. The reason I love this thing so much is we can do an alignment at the shop, and then we can take it to the track, and after she hits somebody, because she better hit somebody, if she's not driving hard enough, we can throw the alignment right back in it, square the car up, and make it just like it was when I left the shop. With this kit, you can do camber, caster, toe, in the front and the rear. All the things that are done at a professional alignment shop, you can do on the track or at your house. Go check these guys out. The kits are five or six, five to 600 bucks with all of the bells and whistles to, to do it similar to the $5,000 kit, other than it just doesn't go on the cars fast. But for 500 bucks, I'm telling you, this thing is the jam. Go check those guys out, get your car square, and quit going to, this, to the alignment shop and having them tell you they won't do an alignment race, a race car alignment. Holy crap, another 13 year old, that's super good. Full Lock Drift had a best entry competition. Braden Lone coming through, showing you guys how to win a full lock drift entry competition. 13 years old and killing it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Braden. He's like 12, 12 now. Am I little? He's been 12 for like five years. There we go. See, there's, there's an entry. 
pretty clean with those. I don't know how to say this name, but Barstos here showing you guys that you don't need two hands to drift. This guy just uses his feet and he gets down. Speaking of who threw it and who blew it, this guy killed it. He has a deficit and he knows what to do and overcome that mindset. So when you're nervous, just think of people that don't have all the advantages that you have. Let's go ahead and take a look at his qualification lap. This clip speaks for itself. You guys asked for Drift Appalachia, so this episode's got a lot of it. We got Reese Marin, 9 and 9, and Cool Cat Motorsports. Drift NWA coming up quick, August 17th and 18th. We got Z Drives and Rome Sharp Interior special guests. So make sure to go to this event if you're in the area or if you want to shoot some media, make sure to go apply on their page. This is going to be a great toge event. JPG Visuals, Drift Carson, Tony Crispin, Hot Pit Auto Fest. Great footage, great tandems, great driving as usual. Let's go ahead and take a look. Storms ain't nothing to mess with, but I can't feel a drip on the strip. It's a trip. Ladies have dress, full of your quip, and they be screaming out. So I'm thinking I'ma scoop me something hot in this south summer rain game melting pot. Hottest club in the city, and it's right on the beach. Temperature, get to ya, it's about to reach 500 degrees in the Caribbean seas with the hot mommy screaming. Guys, Drift Appalachia is gonna be pretty much this whole episode because they're the ones providing the most footage. Let's go ahead and take another look at some Drift Appalachia edits. I don't have any tags, but Drift Appalachia, so if you want me to tag any of the drivers, go ahead and provide them down below. Nappy Boy Automotive, Nappy Boy Gaming, T-Pain, and Advanced Sim Racing, showing you how it started versus how it's going now. T-Pain is getting great at his driving. Sim definitely helps. Let's go ahead and take a look at his Sim setup because this is a kid's dream. How it started. How it's going. The people over at Piled Up Podcast showing you that you don't need much to drift. Just like myself, just some cut knuckles and you can get out there and show everybody how to do it. If you haven't listened to this podcast before, make sure to give them a follow. The car apart, because if I pull it apart, I can just can't fucking drive it. It's the same okay. motor. I only did knuckles in 2020. Like okay. I always just ran stock knuckles. Right. The back of the car is the same diff, half shafts. It's got no arms in the back, so like it's all stock. Right. I've got right. Driftworth caster arms in the front, and that's about it. That's the only adjustable arm I've got in the whole car. This drive, it don't. You don't need to do all that stuff. Like the car looks super flashy. Don't get me wrong, but underneath it's not. Crazy Rios and Charge Hard bringing you this super sick edit. Make sure to go to their YouTube page so you guys can watch the full edit. 
These guys know how to give you great content. I got a whole lot of money. Yo, Bitches yo, got it for me. Yo, Bottle yo, key popping that water yo, bad yo, hoe jacket. Yeah. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. Yeah. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. Yeah. Now my partner on the pill. Yeah. My hood up on the drum. Roll up the line, I'm trying to Guys, Drift Appalachia back at it again. Dan Wagner Cinema bringing you this super sick cinematic shot of these perfect drift cars. Let's go ahead and take a look. Tyler Cofoto, Travis Reeder, and Jason Ferron. Showing you guys another great segment of Drift Appalachia. O seven eight will showing you how to grip that steering wheel right. Four foes, I'm tipping. Wood grain, I'm gripping. Catch me lane switching with the paint dripping. Turn your neck and your dame missing. Me and Slim, we ain't tripping. I'm figure flipping and sir sipping like do or die. I'm pole pimping. Car stop rims keep spinning. I'm flipping drop with it. Doc Amara Motorsports, Caffeine and Octane Linear Raceway, Slide Like Dylan, and Juan Drift coming through with these perfect tandems. <laughs> PDB FPV showing you these great drone shots of two E36s. Felipe Bilt and Kiel Bassa. Make sure to go follow these guys and let's go ahead and take a look at some great E36 tandems. Mazdan Official, Bettina Trix, Bobby Loai providing this great footage from Ultimate Drifting Challenge. This is a great 90s edit. Make sure to go hit their page and watch the full video. Drift Roulette, round four, August 17th, coming up quick at Willow Springs. Make sure to save the date because this is going to be a great comp. If you've never been out to Willow Springs before, this is the one that you're going to want to attend. Some of the best drivers and it's probably going to be a jam-packed weekend. PB Creations and Josiah coming through with Drift Games Dave. Giving him this proper helmet. This guy's been through a lot, so the best they could do is make this great helmet for this guy. A lot of passion goes into this type of work, so it was the perfect gift for him after losing his compound. If you guys haven't seen uh, what happened to Drift Games, make sure to go to their YouTube page and hear the full story. But this helmet is one of a kind. Echo FPV is one of the best drone pilots out. Taylor drifts in his LS Miata. Let's go ahead and take a look. This guy has been drifting this LS Miata and showing you that Miatas get down. A lot of people hate on it because the wheelbase and how short the car is, but Taylor knows how to get it done. Top North Garage providing this funny edit. Just BMW things. Brother, I don't think that's good. It's alright. 
Analysis. It looks like a small incandescent bulb, designed to indicate something out of the ordinary, like a malfunction. I find it pretty and somewhat hypnotic. That tooth. Mm-hmm. Problemo solved. Mission to Send is probably one of the best drivers to throw a backy. This one is in extra slow-mo, so you can see how he pulled it off. For love, no time for tears. Wasted water's all it is. And it don't make no flowers grow. Good thing might come to those who wait, not for those who wait too late. We gotta go for all we know, just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky, just the two of us. You and I. Club Rowdy Affinity Circuit coming up quick, July 20th and 21st. If you want to attend a two-day event, this is probably going to be the best one yet. Club Rowdy and the guys, they know what they're doing. They keep the event smooth and probably the best driving. So make sure to go save these dates and hit up Club Rowdy if you're in the area. Guys, if you attended Vegas Drift Friday night, it was probably the biggest event of the year. The line was out the gate all the way until 10 o'clock almost but i saved the best for last we got wheel life jace coming through to las vegas showing you how to shoot proper photos at night shout out to all the vegas photographers that gave this kid pointers he's a super young kid very talented and he's looking to attend a willow springs event so if you're going to be out at drift roulette and you need a photographer this is the kid to hire all right, guys, that's it for Slide Through News. Thanks for sticking around to the very end. If you guys like the longer episodes or the shorter ones, please let me know what you like so that way I could keep providing you with the better edits that you guys choose. Thanks for sliding through to Slide Through News. I'm your host, Will Poussant. We'll see you guys next week.